So here's a safer way to connect your power pack to the EcoFlow River. This is a DIY 244 watt power pack and it has a XT60 connector and all you have to do is to plug the XT60 connector into this female receptacle here. So let's do that. So it is plugged in and it is charging the EcoFlow by about 80 to 90 watts. Now what I have done to make the charging a little safer is you can go into your app. Right, this is the EcoFlow app and you go into settings and you see here car input select 8M okay and DC mode you would select car recharging there's a choice for auto solar recharging or car recharging so you select car recharging because that would limit the input to 8 amps so you can uh, only 8 amps from your power pack going in so this power pack is 12.3 volt so this would work because this would work from like 10 volt to 25 volt and it has a limit for supposedly 12 amps but you don't want to test this it's better to have it set up in your settings here to limit the charge to 8 amp so instead of selecting solar charging select car input and set it to car recharging the ceiling fan here is 7 watts so there's 288 watts in here and about 250 to 60 watts or so in this power pack. So this is a DIY pack with a BMS and a set of two 6650s. You can connect as big or as small a power pack you want and that would extend the capacity of the EcoFlow River and you do it safely.